So we've learned about the um, pelvic girdle, so the actual bones, the joints and the ligaments that make up the pelvic girdle. Now if you remember we also talked about the true pelvis and the true pelvis, just to remind you, is the bony canal through which the foetus must pass during normal childbirth. And if you remember we talked about um, the pelvic brim, the pelvic cavity in here and the pelvic outlet. So we're just going to sort of briefly describe um, what these various aspects are. So it's quite important that as midwives we know the landmarks of each of these so that we know when we're describing how the foetus is progressing during the pelvis during normal childbirth that we know um, exactly the anatom anatomical positions of the foetus as it comes through the pelvis. If we look at the brim of the pelvis, um, and I'm going to turn the pelvis round like this, um, so the landmarks of the pelvic brim are quite defined um, in anatomical terms um, and this is, um, if we start at the back, and it's useful to actually when you get your um, a chance to have a look at a pelvis, which we will do in the class, um, to actually run your finger around the brim then you know for sure what, what you're talking about. Um, so if we start on the posterior aspect, we've got the sacral prominentry which is where the sacrum um, protrudes anteriorly at the back. Um, we've got the sacral ala or the wing of the sacrum. We've got the sacroiliac joint here. We've got the iliopectineal line, which is an edge formed at the um, it's an edge formed at the inward aspect of the ilium. So if we look at the inside aspect of the ilium, there's a ledge that forms there naturally. So that's the iliopectineal line. Then we've got the iliopectineal eminence, and the eminence is a small roughened area that you'll be able to see um, when you actually see the pelvis in the, in the classroom situation. So that's the iliopectineal eminence. We've got the superior ramus of the pubic bone, so that's the top arm of the pubic bone. Um, we've got the um, upper inner border of the pubic bone, which is in here. Um, and then we've got the upper inner border of the symphysis pubis, which is in here. So when we run our finger around those landmarks, that's the um, anatomical um, brim of the pelvis. Okay. The next landmark that we have when we talk about the true pelvis is the cavity. So if you imagine then the baby entering the brim, descending down into the cavity of the pelvis, that's the bit that we're going to talk about now. Um, and the cavity is an area um, that extends between the brim of the pelvis and the outlet of the pelvis um, and it doesn't really have any anatomical landmarks that we would define um, other than it, it lies between the, uh, the brim and the outlet of the pelvis um, and we know that the cavity is approximately four centimetres deep anteriorly here and it's approximately 12 centimetres um, from the sacral prominentry down towards the outlet of the pelvis. So four centimetres at the front, four centimetres deep at the front, and about 12 centimetres deep at the back here. And that's just the cavity of the pelvis. And the cavity is a perfect circle, perfect circle. So a lot of the rotation of the fetal head happens in the cavity of the pelvis. Then we can talk about the um, outlet um, of the pelvis um, and when we talk about uh, the outlet there's two types of outlet that we talk about there's an anatomical outlet and an obstetrical outlet and an anatomical outlet is this one so say if we just rested a pelvis on a table that's the anatomical outlet so it's the lower borders of each bone However, in obstetrics and maternity care, we don't. This doesn't play any um, any significance for actually care or the process of normal childbirth, um, because the, these bones here don't impact or don't um, have any contact with the fetal head during normal childbirth. What the fetal head will actually have contact with is the the um, an obstetrical outlet. And the obstetrical outlet is very different. So when we talk about the um, obstetrical outlet, that's the one that really has an impact on childbirth um, and knowledge of it is really important. So the obstetric outlet um, is very specifically, it's the sacrococcygeal joint here 
it's the ischial spines which is here and it's the lower board of the symphysis pubis which is here so if we imagine balancing there if you can see where my hands are there so sacrococcygeal joint the two ischial spines and the lower border of the symphysis pubis that is the obstetrical outlet of the pelvis um, because it's it's those bones that the fetal, fetal head has to navigate past to be born okay so that's the obstetric outlet of the pelvis